this video, you will learn how to attach the lower plates to the side rails of the bed frame. The side rails of your Murphy bed consist of parts D. There is a left and there is a right side rail. Remember that these are mirror images of each other. Also refer to the stamp text on the front of the lower plates to determine which one is left and which one is the right side lower plate. You have the option of rounding the footer ends of the side rails. To make the footer ends of your side rails round, you simply can use the leg plates as a template. Or you can draw a 2 and 1 8 radius circle on the side rail as shown in the diagram in section 4 of the construction guide. You will use the hardware parts that were included in your DOI Murphy bed kit to secure the lower plates to the side rails. The left and right lower plates are easy to install and require hardly no setup time or complex measurements. Our unique design combines the lower piston stud plate and the pivot plate into one part, making it easy and quick to install while providing maximum strength and reliability. Measure and mark according to section 4 of the construction guide. After you have marked the side rail, it is a good idea to place a scrap piece of wood under it to protect your working surface. Using a 3 quarter inch spade bit, drill completely to the side rail. Remember you will be working on the inner side of the side rail. The 3 quarter inch stud on the back of the lower plate will now be inserted into the 3 quarter inch hole on the side rail. Double check to make sure there is a 3 quarter inch spacing on the footer end of the side rails as you see here. It is okay to be plus or minus 1 16th of an inch as this is the header end of the bed frame and will be facing the wall. Use the carpenter square to line up the lower plate on the side rail. The top edge of the lower plate should be parallel with the finished top edge of the side rail. The two edges should be flush, however it is ok to be plus or minus 116. Mark the 7 holes on the lower plate for the screws. Using a quarter inch drill bit, drill through the side rail. Grab the 4 inch wood screws and the 3 machine screws together with the joint connectors from the hardware box that came with your hardware kit. Don't forget to also grab the allen key that is included. This will be used to torque your machine screws. It might be a wise idea to center punch the holes for the wood screws, as this will ensure they will be driven in the center of the holes. If you do not have a center punch, you can use a nail or a wood screw as you see here. Now drive the four screws making sure not to over torque them. If your drill has a clutch feature, you may set the clutch for the proper setting to avoid over tightening the screws. Flip the side rail over and insert the three joint connectors into the quarter inch holes. Now drive the three machine screws into the joint connectors.
You will also require a 532 or 4 mm Allen wrench to finish tightening the joint connectors together with the Allen key in your kit. Make sure the machine screws are snug. Repeat the same steps to attach the other lower plate to the other side rail. Why not download your free copy of our step-by-step -step Murphy Bed Construction Guide by clicking on the link below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like these.